Hello everyone, my name's Adam Reeples Vox, and welcome back to another OBS multi-platform slash it's now officially titled OBS Studio Tutorial. I've had numerous requests to show how to capture Skype video within OBS, and so I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm on a Skype call with myself, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, first and foremost, you're going to have to hide or get rid of your own video preview here as that is going to show up in what we're doing. But I'm actually going to move this. You can see I'm on a Skype call with myself. You can see me up there in the corner. This is my other computer, or this is my transcoding server's desktop view. Um, I'm going to move Skype over to another window, and we're going to go ahead and open up OBS Studio. Now, I am using OBS Studio for this. Uh, unless there's a drastic, like, request for it, I'm not going to do a normal OBS tutorial for this for this setup just because I don't really think anyone should be using normal OBS at this point. OBS Studio is the more updated, more capable software. It's available for Mac, Linux, and Windows, and it's a lot more up to date. So we're going to add a new scene for this just so it doesn't screw with my normal live stream and stuff. We're going to call it Skype. And of course, you can just add this into whatever uh whatever, you know, scene or setup setup you want. Then we're going to go to under sources, we're going to go to add window capture. We're going to call it Skype. Actually, the scene is already named Skype, so we'll call it Skype window. Click OK. And then it automatically picks it up here, although you may have to select it from a group of windows, but th since that's my previous window, it already picks it up here. And then you can choose whether to match the window title, the window class, or the executable name. I'm going to choose the executable name, so it always knows that it needs to look for Skype.exe. I've had the best luck with that specifically just because uh, window class often detects other windows that aren't actually what I'm looking for. And then turn off capture cursor here. And then if you're using multiple graphics cards or in your, you're in a computer that has both integrated and a dedicated graphics card, you may need to turn on multi adapter compatibility. I do not, so I'm leaving it unchecked. And then as you can see, it's a little bit bigger here. So I'm going to right click it, go to transform, and then fit to screen. And then, like you see here, you do still have my video preview. So you're gonna wanna, um, you're gonna wanna either like minimize that, or just turn it off completely, or just turn your video off. In theory, if you're live streaming and you're trying to show something from Skype, you're not going to be using uh, your own video preview within that setup. So then you still have the kind of blue Skype border here. Now you can either try to make it bigger and try to line it up to fit your window, which could be kind of awkward, but could work. Or you can right click it, go to filters, and add a crop filter. Click the plus icon, go to crop. We'll just call it crop. And unfortunately, you kind of have to use pixels for this. So go over here to the left, and I'll just say 150. See where that gets me. That gets me too far. So okay, I'll say 100. All right. 90. 90 about gets me where I want. So same thing on the right. I'm going to put 90 on the right. May, maybe like 88. Uh, 85? All right, same thing on the right. 85. And I already have it moved off the screen here. And then like 5 pixels off the bottom, maybe 7. Same thing on the top. 7 there's not a whole lot of border there. We'll make it 8 on the top. There's a little bit more. And then close. And then right click, transform, fit to screen again. And there's still some black bars because I didn't get it exactly perfect. But then you can just kind of stretch it up to fit what you need. And that is Skype video running in OBS. And then even like here, I'm going to minimize. You can't see this. Here, I will add. No, you can't see this. But I'm going to... Move my Skype window over here, but then if I pull up OBS, it's still there. Although it does have that border back because the window changed resolutions. So you got to be careful with that. But then when I move it back, it's exactly as it is. But then if I minimize it, it's still there. I can do whatever on the second monitor. And that preview is still there. It's pretty straightforward. I do hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, smash the like button. Get subscribed for more OBS tutorials. If you haven't seen them already, check the link in the description below for my OBS Studio playlist. As lots and lots and lots of other OBS Studio tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Adam Repos Vox, signing out. See you next time.